So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our speech. I'm Jonathan Qi from Basis Nanjing, and he is my father, Justin Qi. Hello, everyone. Today, Jonathan and I would like to share some story about topics about solar energy with you guys. Thank you. So, you might think that solar energy is some space age technology, but the effects behind it is actually way older. It was in 1839 that Edward Becquerel, a French physicist, discovered the photovoltaic effect. In Greek, photo means light, and voltaic means electricity. He did not invent solar behind it, but he discovered the effect behind it. In 1954, Bell Labs made the first practical solar cell that could generate electricity. A decade later, NASA launched solar panels into space to power the satellites to collect and transmit information. In 1970, solar energy became more mainstream and used on a wider scale, from household to solar farms. Until now, Solar energy has been used to power nearly everything, from cars to even airplanes. So greenhouse gases has accelerated global warming, and we're all now threatened by the rising sea levels. Coastal cities such as Los Angeles, New York, Shanghai, and Hong Kong are all in great danger of flooding. Solar energy's traditional rivals when well, non-renewable energy are being depleted at an alarming rate. Energy sources such as coal, fossil fuel, and natural gas are being used up too fast. If we are independent from non-renewable energy and use solar energy as a main energy source, we can reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere by 43% in 2030 and achieve zero carbon emissions by 2050. So using solar energy brings about many benefits. First of which is that solar energy provides us with clean energy that can reduce carbon emissions by being independent from non-renewable energy, as I said, that brings us a better planet. Second of all, the solar industry provide many job opportunities for different people. Physics and engineering majors can become solar farm engineers, while economic and finance majors can become sales contractors. Solar energy also provides us with affordable energy. The main budget for a solar system is the one-time installation cost and need little money for the ongoing, co ongoing costs such as repair and maintenance. This beneficial characteristic attracts customers to make solar energy their primary energy source. So why is solar energy better than other renewable energies you might think? Well, there's a really obvious reason to that. It is that each unit of production or each single solar panel for solar energy is about six feet long and is very practical for normal day households. Unlike wind energy, which uses wind turbines, each is about as tall as a Statue of Liberty. So good luck figuring out how to install that on top of your roof. If you want to install a hydro energy system inside your house, your house will be the eighth wonder of the modern world. No jokes. So thanks to the great advantages of solar panels, large amounts have been installed and benefits people's lives. Until now, we have more than three billion solar panels installed worldwide. And now I would like to invite my father onto the stage to let him share some experiences with you in his years working in the solar industry. Thank you, Mesa. Thank you, everyone. 
Uh, I would like to share some of my real life experience in my work in the solar company. Uh, I've been working in the solar industry for almost uh, 15 years, and I clearly remember in the 2010, the solar system was quite expensive. It was quite expensive, and uh, only uh, most of the products I installed with government subsidies, only some wealthy and developed countries, such as Germany, Spain, America encouraged individuals, companies to utilize the solar system. The system installed at that moment are quite small. Well, as the technology and the industry have improved, the solar system cost is not is affordable globally. Nowadays, the solar system price has fallen 95%. Now, the price only $50 per watt peak, consequently. The solar is ubiquitous and taking big steps forward in many places, such as China, Brazil, South Africa. Indeed, across the world entirely. The solar project still vary greatly in the scale, but I will show a couple of examples. On the small scale, there is a residential application for the individual users. On the, on the large scale, there are two commercial applications built for the factory and the building and the business users. The biggest project is grandiose indeed. One of the largest projects I have been involved in the 2018, this, is a, this was the largest project in Ukraine when it was built. It includes 50, more than 560,000 panels and it can generate more than 300 million kilowatt hour electricity annually. It can meet annual electricity needs of approximately 80,000 households. Along this traditional solar application, we do have other some advanced and interesting solar applications. Let me show you. The wind turbine can work together with flexible solar modules in order to improve the space utilization and, of course, secure the return on the investor investment. The solar car roof is providing additional power supply for the cars, and we have been working. With, with some local and international manufacturers for this technology for some time. You can see the solar almost anywhere, even in the aerospace industry. The solar is providing an independent power source for the solar airplane, powered by and only by the power of the sun. The, the solar system already colonized the space, is providing the energy for satellite and the space station. Well, you may think that uh, uh, this system are effective and it plays significant role in some areas, but you may think it's far from your daily life. I will show you more examples and let you have more confidence all of you will be benefit from this energy system. You can see the, the solar panel on the top of the truck is providing additional electricity for the freighter cars. The solar powered window, the solar powered curtains, are help reduce the construction cost by minimizing equipment such as cabling and data. The Beckley solar system combined with the storage battery is providing the user independent power during power outages. I believe most of you here have little experience about the power outages. Let me share you something. During the COVID-19 lockdown in South Africa almost uh, more than half a year since we have a factory operation here. The people there is facing almost every day two hours up to eight hours power outages. Can you imagine? When you do your homework, when you do your work, even when you are on your, your computer games, suddenly no power. Then we developed this factory system and already shipped a lot to the South Africa factory, uh, South Africa, and help the local people to meet their daily electricity needs. You may say. The, this is close to your solar is close to your daily life, but not close enough. Now I have to show you one of the most close part of my daily solar life. Let me handle this to my son, Jonathan. All right. So this is true real life proof that solar panels are actually extremely adapt adaptable. So this is my solar system back at home, and one of the graphs is over here shows the monthly output of the solar systems during May. 
and it is at around 2,000 kilowatt hours. And the other graph over here shows the annual electric output during 2022 at exactly 15,760 kilowatt hours. Our family benefited from the solar system as we have an independent system of energy, also with reduced electricity bills. In conclusion, I would like to end with a quote. The sun shines not on us, but in us, by John Muir. I, th I think we can all do with a bit of sunlight. Everybody, take your action to make solar be part of our daily life, to make a better planet. Thank you. Thank you.